Virginia middle schooler simulates sex acts with pinned down black students while yelling racial slurs. All right, so the reason why I wanted to come on here and uh, do this story was because I noticed that there is a consolidated effort to somewhat absolve what I call junior devils from, you know, their acts of deviltry. Basically, these Caucasian children, there's there seems to be an effort to shield them by their Caucasoid parents or uh, other people in general, oftentimes claiming that, uh, you know, that they were taught to be this way and it's not their fault and their parents are to blame. And I can understand that because as, um, you know, even wild animals seek to p protect their children. So what I don't understand is if wild animals and uh, various creatures on, on the earth, most creatures in general, have a instinct to protect their children, including Caucasoids, why don't black people? is what I don't get. Why don't black people have, why don't black people feel the need to protect their children to the same degree that apparently Caucasoids do whenever they run defense for their deviltry, right? Because I'm going to read this story. I haven't read all of it. I read a part of it a little bit just to understand what it was that I was going to be talking about. And I don't really notice any black parents in here saying how, you know, they want to Take, they need they need to take their, their kid out of these white schools and put them in a black school. They're not saying, I don't know that. They're not saying, oh, I noticed that this doesn't happen. I don't see this happening in the locker room with black children and other black children. Because if you remember, there was a story where um, a black teen who uh, mentally... Uh, as he was like a mentally handicapped black teen was essentially molested. He was raped and sodomized by three white teens in a locker room. This is the type of stuff that's going on in the locker room when you have your one black or, or two or just a few black children in the locker room with these white children. This is what they're doing. They're they're uh, molesting them. They're sexually assaulting them and just doing stuff that they that they're predisposed to do that they've been doing because it's it's not a new thing that's going on here. This is a generational thing. Had this just been something that started happening in maybe the past 10 years or whatever you could say that oh maybe it's a trend or maybe it's a cultural thing but the fact of the matter is is we all know since slavery times that we you know we talk a lot about uh, black women getting raped but what we don't talk about so much is how the slave masters were raping the black male slaves you know what I'm saying so there is a a, a history of this that could make you determine that this is probably a predisposed um, activity that's going on here. And I never really see black parents going, you know, we need to get our kids away from these these white kids. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll hear, I'll see white p parents, they may not say that in the media, but they'll say it in the comment sections or they'll say it on Facebook. But black people, black parents in general, I never hear them saying like, we, we our children are at, in danger by these people. You know, we had a black girl, did I do the story yet? That was put on a leash by two white children in a classroom. And I hear parents always talking about how shocked and dismayed they are and disheartened and they want, they want, they want apology and they want money and they want, but they never come out and say, you know, to help other black children. Like this is something that white children are doing. They are, are, are sexually taking advantage of our children. They're preying on our kids. They're preying on our kids and we should get our kids away from them. They never, these parents never come out and say that. And it seems like they don't have a, the same instinct to protect their kids. But um, let me play this video so you can get a better understanding of what happened. Brent Solomon got his hands on that video. He joins us now for the very latest. Brent, we've decided to only share a portion of the video. Because we're talking about minors here, we're also blurring the faces of every child featured as well as some of the graphic activity that was caught on camera. What's up with you and the blacks? The viral video starts with the question, ever wonder what happens in the football locker room? It showcases football players from Short Pump Middle School simulating sex acts, black players on the ground, other students on top. What's going on? A student types, quote, we gonna blank the black out of these African-American children from Uganda. I felt sad for my child um, that he had to experience this. This parent doesn't want to be identified to protect her son. You see... Um... um you should be upset with yourself. You shouldn't be... I think she's trying to protect her face so that people would not have to see the ridiculous mother that this child has. Because your son only has to experience this because of you. All right? 
first off, I want to say that's some of the most disturbing shit I've ever seen. You know, I've never personally seen nothing like that. That's really disturbing. And I'm sure more of it happens at these schools where black people are in the minority. I myself have never been to a minority black school. Maybe one, I think when I was really young, I was in a private school with some white kids. But besides that, most, and I, and we ran that school, me, me and my family. So, but when I went to a um, majority uh Black school, that none of this was going on. Ain't nobody was raping white children. Nobody was doing these disgusting um, sexual acts and being sexual deviants, deviants and predators like is to be expected from them. But um, I'm not going to interrupt the, the thing anymore. I just, I just thought that was annoying that we have a black parent here that's not talking about the depravity of these white children. She's not bringing them up, not talking about them directly, but wants to say she's sad that her child had to experience this. Like he doesn't have to experience it because you send him there. Um, kids in the locker room. Um, forcing kids over the bench. Um, you see kids on the ground um, thrusting on other kids, um, making racial slurs as they're thrusting. You see the kids asking to get up and to, and to stop and screaming. That parent telling 12 what's also alarming, the behavior was allowed to go on as long as it did. I reached out to Henrico Schools, a spokesman saying the district is aware of the video, which is offensive and wrong. The district says it will take appropriate action. If I was one of those parents, and my kid was being out, so I'd, annoying I'd, outside? I'd be, I'd be angry. I took the video to Henrico supervisor Tyrone Nelson, who believes the school system should take action. Are these kids playing or, or, or was this some type of, um, racial situation if it is was it some type of was it some type of racial situation was it some type of racial situation oh my goodness and you notice how the people who um the was it the school board that commented on it how they never once said racist you gotta be kidding me we have white kids that are literally sitting here raping these black children sexually assaulting them and talking about some oh you know niggers and 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 saying racial slurs and is it a racist situation you know what I mean? Like, like I said, there's a consolidated effort to protect junior devils, but not to protect black children. We have a, a grown ass black man looking at this clip asking, is it a racial situation? And have um people, we are, are allowing these people to talk about it and saying, you know, all these descriptive descriptions of it besides racist. While we have white children literally sitting here, they're not doing it to anybody else. They're purposely doing it to the black kids. They even have it in the, even wrote text across the screen talking about doing it to the black kids specifically we're talking about african americans in uganda and and, and and using the racial slurs this is the most racist shit i've ever seen this is so blatantly racist this is so blatantly racist it couldn't be any more blatantly racist and we have people we actually have black people participating in this participating in the delusion because you we already expect these caucasoids to be delusional because they have to protect junior devils and senior devils and devil the devil kind they have to protect themselves in general but for black people to be playing along with this this is why this is happening to these black kids i bet if this was a black person doing this to white kids doing this to anybody people wouldn't be sitting here talking about oh is it a racial situation before they even found out if the chicago video with the, the four black teens was a racial situation they only had to say white and donald trump once and they got charged with a hate crime but these kids could sit here and make it as plain as day what else could they have done do you need one of them to go up in the camera and say we're being racist right now just so you know this is racism that we're doing right now for you guys to understand that what kind of ridiculous uh, i said i was gonna stop the clip again but uh, Oh my gosh, it's almost done. Young kids being held against their will and being sexually manipulated, then that's one thing. Was it something that not everybody was okay with? No, they were not okay with it. Was he in a position to even really defend himself? No. Um, he had people that were straddling over top of him. But racism should not be tolerated. You should be able to send your kids to school and feel as though they are being protected and safe. All right, while you heard the response from the district office, I took things a step farther, reaching out to both the school board chair and the board member who represents Short Pop. Since you elected them, we figured you deserve to hear their thoughts. Neither returned my messages. Okay, call them On out. On your call side, out. Brent Solomon, NBC 12. Call them out. Brent I'm really ashamed by all the, all, uh, most, the majority of the adults in this um, situation. I feel like they weren't outraged 
even nearly enough. They're, they're raping your children. You know what I'm saying? You're, they're raping your children. They're protecting, they're, they're running defense for their children. And you're sitting here not even sure if you want to call it racist. Then you're wondering why they do this stuff to your children. You know what I'm saying? We have in quotations here. What's going on? He's effing a black. Like they, they literally, you know what I'm saying? Junior devils. They're just the same. Uh, and this, I guess the rest of the story is just them reiterating the situation. And do I really want to get into this comments? No, because uh, let me see. If black folks started making those kinds of house calls to white folks, we'd have martial law enacted. All this stuff is pretty obvious. I mean, we always say the same thing. If black folks did this, if black folks did that, the least that we can do is when they do it to our children is actually be outraged to be sitting here wondering if the situation is racial. It's just disturbing. You know what I mean? They want to protect their kids. They're protecting their kids by running defense for them. And we can't even we don't even have enough pride enough ambition enough to, to to even be outraged about the situation to even call the situation racist we can we can barely even do that you know and then we're wondering why they do this to our children we wonder why we pray on them why they pray on them you know what i mean ridiculous i'm all right i'm out of here because this is to be expected this is to be expected at this point because they they protect their children and we don't protect ours